Welcome viewers to a gripping expose on the Igmatic cult leader known as Nature Boy. Prepare to be riveted as we delve into the recent sentencing that has rocked the world of alternate communities. In today's video, we will unravel the shocking tale of Nature Boy's journey from leader to inmate, exploring the charges that led to his arrest and the subsequent legal proceedings. But first, let's rewind to the beginning. Nature Boy's rise to prominence as the charismatic leader of a controversial spiritual community garnered both fascination and criticism. His unorthodox teachings and unconventional lifestyle captivated followers around the globe. But it wasn't long before allegations of misconduct began to surface. Fast forward to the present day and Nature Boy finds himself behind bars, facing the consequences of his actions. With recent sentencing based on the troubling charges he faced, the world watches with bated breath as justice unfolds. So get cozy and let's get started. At all of the testimony, um Mr. Bishop, you're a master manipulator and the, probably the classic definition of a like that I've ever seen. Um, you took advantage of these folks who were essentially lost souls looking for some guidance, looking for some connection, or looking for some comfort. Um, and you were able to fill a void for them for some reason. I know it's pretty late. I don't usually post around this time. But we just got some news. The Shade Room posted 17 seconds ago about Nature Boy. You heard it, Nature Boy. I know y'all remember who Nature Boy is. The Colts leader? Yeah, they got some tea on him. And you guys know he been in prison for a little while now. And they gave us an update 17 seconds ago on his case. Here it is. Verdict of the jury in indictment number 24 CR 1183, State of Georgia versus Eligio Bishop. Um, on count one, how does the jury find? Count one is right. Guilty. And count two, false imprisonment. Guilty. Count three, prohibition on nude or sex explicit electronic transmissions. Guilty. Count four, prohibition on nude or sex explicit electronic transmissions. Guilty. And count five, prohibition on nude or sex explicit electronic transmissions. Guilty. All right. And it is signed and dated by you as the four person. Correct. Right. Thank you very much. All right. I'm going to have the deputy uh, provide the verdict form to the state and to the defense for them to review. Life in prison is insane. But he kind of knew it was coming for him. Come on. We all know it was coming. But that's one down and plenty more to go because he's not the only one. The girl? The stud girl? Yeah, she's next. She's next. Tell me what y'all think about this. Wants to tell her side of the story, and it's an interview you only see on 11 Alive. Eligio Bishop, also known as Nature Boy, is still in jail facing charges that also include rape. His wife tells our Paula Soro he forced her to marry him after three years of knowing each other. I feel that now looking back, I feel that I fell in love with an idea because he pretended to be someone that he wasn't. Behind this smiling face, Velvet Marquez faced her hardest years next to Eligio Bishop. He literally held me hostage. He took all of my identification, my passport, my my uh, birth certificate, my social, my bank cards, everything, you name it, medical documentations. She says Bishop, the leader of the so-called cult, Carbon Nation, went from spoiling her to abuse her when she got pregnant. I was forced to engage in sexual activity that I did not want to do. I was beaten, still strangled on multiple occasions. So I had to like uh, willingly engage in these sexual activities because of to, to keep myself safe. He would abuse in front of the women. She had their daughter in 2019, and a year and a half later, she says he forced her to legally marry him in a Las Vegas chapel. There was no medical attention given to us, so when I actually went into labor, I had to be rushed to the hospital two hours away. For years, the cult would drive and settle across Central America. Velvet says Bishop lived off of other members' PPP loans and life savings. She gave him her $3,000 college fund, while others gave tens of thousands of dollars. And after four tries, she successfully ran away with her daughter with no money but hope. My child is important. 
I don't understand how anybody could leave their child to be with him or to go live with him. And we've been following this story closely since his arrest and also have interviewed another woman who lived with Bishop after Velvet did. You can find her side of the story and more about the group on 11alive.com. It's fascinating to see how people in all our might can be gullible sometimes. And the story of Nature Boy is a testament to how people can easily accept a narrative that echoes with their beliefs or their imaginations about the world. Now, prepare to be astounded by the astonishing intricacies of the mind as we unravel the captivating tale of Nature Boy and his mesmerizing yet tumultuous court. Imagine a man boldly proclaiming himself as the reincarnation of Jesus, seemingly blending religion and pseudoscience into a dazzling concoction of influence and control. But wait, there is more. His followers, entranced by his charismatic charm, willingly worship him at his feet, blindly following his every command. As we peer into the labyrinth of Nature Boy's psyche, we are confronted with a stark reality. The mind, while undoubtedly powerful, can also be alarmingly vulnerable. From his grandiose delusions to his aquatic lifestyle, there's a plethora of bizarre elements to unpack. An ex-user, the social media platform formerly known as Twitter, came out saying that his childhood was one filled with some harsh and horrific incidents and before he became a cult leader, because perhaps of his dark past, he was an adult entertainer and he became a barber after that. But after seeing that this wasn't the life that he wanted to live, he embarked on a journey, embracing nature and becoming the nature boy that we now know. And from there, he decided to bring people along his journey into nature. But things started taking a different turn as time went by, as both men and women flocked to join his little cult. But alas, paradise soon gave way to pandemonium, as the boundaries between leader and follower blurred, and the once peaceful heaven descended into chaos. Amidst the tangled vines of ambition and desire, the nature boy found himself ensnared in a web of his own making, grappling with the consequences of his newfound power. In a whirlwind of controversy, Nature Boy and his devoted followers found themselves chased from multiple countries. Their unconventional lifestyle deemed too radical for society to tolerate. Accusations flew with whispers of brainwashing and manipulation swirling around the cult's charismatic leader. Evidence of their devotion manifested in the most alarming ways as court members willingly gathered their savings, college funds and every penny to their name to fund Nature Boy's extravagant lifestyle. Astonishingly, even his own girlfriend surrendered a $3,000 dollars college tuition without hesitation or in the name of sponsoring their self-proclaimed messiah but what truly boggled the mind was the fervent adulation bestowed upon nature boy by his disciples in their eyes he wasn't just a leader he was a deity a god among mortals they clamored for his freedom believing it to be their divine duty to liberate their supposed savior in a startling turn of events it is believed that nature boy's own wife velvet may have been the catalyst for his downfall allegations of cohesion and manipulation swirl around her claim painting a harrowing picture of a marriage made by control and fear. As Velvet bravely steps forward to seek justice, the emotional tone on those entangled in Nature Boy's coat is palpable. Imagine the turmoil, the uncertainty, the sense of betrayal rippling through their ranks as their leader faces imprisonment. The psychological impact of such upheaval cannot be overstated and the repercussions may be far-reaching. But what lies ahead of Nature Boy's followers? Will they cling to their devotion in the face of adversity or will they succumb to the chaos left in his wake? Only time will tell. As we reflect on the tumultuous tale of Nature Boy, one thing is clear. The human psyche is a complex and fragile thing, susceptible to the influence of charismatic leaders and the allure of unorthodox ideologies. If today's video left you intrigued, moved, or even unsettled, we invite you to share your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more captivating content. Until next time, may we navigate the murky waters of human nature with wisdom and compassion.